Chief Executive Officer of Digicel TT Foundation, Penny Gomez, says the company will continue to invest in Panyard Technology Centers. So there are eight recipients in this particular phase. But, and we spend just, just um, Trinidad and Tobago dollars, 540,000. That's the investment in technology here. And it is an investment in the sustainable development. We will be putting out a call for applications to do more technology in education at Panyards across Trinidad and Tobago. Four pan theatres benefited from the program in phase one and four more in phase two. President of Pan Trinbago, Beverly Ramsey Moore, says pan yards are gathering spaces for intergenerational groups. You've, you are providing academic support to all our bands that will be benefiting. Technology has become an unavoidable path of life unavoidable. We have to face it. And so as steel band leaders, not president now, but I'm a leader, we have to make the way, we have to embrace the light. In the first phase, technology and education centers are opened at NLCB Funclair Steel Orchestra, Valley Harps Steel Orchestra, Trinidad All Stars Cooperative Society Limited, and TN Tech Tropical Angel Harps Steel Orchestra. The Phase Two group saw Pandemonium Steel Orchestra, Cats and Jammers Steel Orchestra, Curep Shorazando Steel Orchestra, and the Coover Joylanders Steel Orchestra benefiting from the program. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.